Good morning, everybody. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. And I'm barely functioning on the coffee yet. So, I'm going to get started by, we're going to do some beef broth today. Actually, I've got a lot of kitchen projects today. I'm going to do some dehydrating. I'm going to do some beef bone stock. I'm going to can some pineapple. I got a lot of good deals yesterday at this store called Cash Saver. So yeah, I'm going to be knocking out some videos today. So what I have here are my bones, which are actually kind of hard to find now. I was looking everywhere. I could not find them. And this new store, Cash Saver, is carrying everything that you can... Um, get lard, pork bones, these are beef neck bones. The only thing with these is last time I used bones that big my stock came out white but I should be okay that's that's not too terribly big. If you get marrow bones just keep that in mind you will have a white stock it's not bad but it will be a white color and I'm looking for a nice rich brown stock. I don't like paying three or four dollars for a small container of beef stock. So finally found some bones anyway and uh, I've got some carrots, some onions, some celery. I'm going to use some of my Himalayan salt. I prefer Himalayan, but I do have sea salt for other things. Actually, I have a whole salt and pepper collection. All kinds of salts from around the world and peppers. I love it. And some fresh peppercorns. And I'm going to roast these in the oven first. That'll give you a richer flavor stock and uh, a nice color. So you get a lot of color, a lot of flavor out of this. So I'm going to pop this in the oven until it gets nice and brown and then I'll put it in a pot and add more of these vegetables. Go ahead and save your ends and stuff to throw in there and your... Um, you can put in the skins to the onions and everything. Actually that'll even add more color. So yeah, I'm going to pop this in the oven and probably leave it in there 30, 45 minutes or more or less. You know, depends on the color I get and how quickly. Put it on about 400, the hotter the better. And I let these come to room temperature. So it just, they cook better when you, when your meat has come down to room temperature. So yeah, I'm going to pop these in the oven and go have some coffee and try and wake up more. And I will see you for the next step. Well, good morning again, everybody. I have had my beef broth cooking overnight. And I'm now straining it through a wire mesh. And I have my pint jars in the canner. I'm going to warm those up because this is hot. So you want everything to go in your canner hot. If your product is hot, heat up your jars. I put a little bit of water in each jar, put the lid on it, and I have all of that warming up and I'm just straining this out. Oh, it smells so good. And look at that color. Can you see that color? nice pretty brown so yeah I'm gonna get all of this strained up I didn't want to try to pour it because it would probably be a disaster so I'm gonna strain this all out and I will be back when we are filling our jars <coughs> okay we are back and I'm putting my hot broth into my hot jars there in that pot. I 
I'm filling them to one inch of head space. Have some vinegar here to clean my rims. Vinegar cuts through that grease really well. You don't want to chance any seal fails. I hear a lot of people having trouble with these new ball lids. I haven't had too many problems, but And I have three quarts of water in my canner. I'm freezing this morning. I'm dreading that storm coming in. We've got the rain from California coming and then we've got the cold blast coming from the north. So I am not excited, but I've got wood. I've got food. <laughs> Tomorrow's my birthday, so I think before this weather comes in, go to a movie. So yeah, just fill all your jars. One inch of head space. Clean the rim with some rubbing alcohol and I will come back when the canner is loaded. You only have to can your broth for 20 minutes for pints, 25 for quarts. I know it's a beef product or a meat product, but because it's all liquid, you're okay. However, if I don't fill up this canner with broth, I'm going to add some dry beans and I will go ahead and do it for 75 minutes. because. I don't think I'm going to get seven or eight pints of broth. So, fingers crossed, but yeah, I'll be back. Okie dokie, the canner is loaded. I'm going to put the lid on. Make sure that you check your vent hole so you can see light. Be nice if I <laughs> And uh, lock it line up your bees over here lock it down and when that nipple pops up and this nipple pops up and you have steam for 10 minutes let that vent for 10 minutes put your weight on for me it's 15 pounds check your area and your broth will process for 20 minutes for pints 25 for quarts and if you add beans or anything, then do it for your regular meat times. But for broth, 20 minutes for me. So I will see you in a while. Okay, so we are venting. Can you see the steam? Yeah, let's see right there. So I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. See that has popped up. That has popped up. And in 10 minutes, I will put my weight on and I will time this for 20 minutes. So we will see you then. Hi guys, I am back. I just wanted to show the jiggle. And um, a few people have problems with siphoning. In their jars and what that is is you're losing liquid so I just wanted to show you you know that's actually a little aggressive but fairly gentle you want a gentle rock on your weight so what you need to do is turn your feet down and it's just a matter of finding that sweet spot on your stove I don't have a gauge you know, so we go by our, by our jiggler. <laughs> I call it a jiggler. So yeah, I just wanted to say that if you're having problems with siphoning, turn the heat down. It means you've got it way too high. 
and make sure you just have a gentle jiggle going there. And that's even kind of aggressive. I turned it down just a little bit. But yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there. I've got about five more minutes and this canner is done. And I will lift it and move it over. As you can see, I do use a glass cooktop. I have no problems, but don't slide your can or anything like that. So I will be turning it off, lifting it up, and moving it to the other side. And we'll let it come down to pressure, and I will see you after that. Okay, we are done. Make sure when you take the lid off of your canner, you do it away from yourself. Oh, they're popping. So here we go. <clears throat> this is our beef broth. It's very nice today. Did you hear that pop? I've heard sound. They are still boiling. I let these sit for five minutes before taking them out. Helps you not lose any liquid. And I got five pints. Oops. Five pints. Can you see that boiling? getting after it uh -huh. so there you go that is my two-day process for the beef broth and I got five pints for three dollars so it's usually the cost if not a little more for one container at the grocery store so I'm going to enjoy this warm day. It's a bit windy. It's getting my allergies going, actually. Because it's going to get nasty in the next couple of days. So, hope this helps. You all have a nice day. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to say... Goodness, those are still bubbling. Um, I said... To use alcohol to clean the rims. Well, first I said vinegar, and then the second time I said alcohol. Don't use alcohol. Well, if you use alcohol, you do you. But I use vinegar, so I just wanted to do that little disclaimer. So, okay, back to scrubbing dishes. <laughs>